In this clip I will discuss the theorem of a roller. Well, what does it say? Suppose we have a continuous function and a closed interval AB such that FA equals FB. Then see the blue line and suppose that it's differentiable on the open interval AB. Then there must be a point C in the middle of the interval where we find a horizontal tangent line which indicates that the derivative over there equals zero. So the statement is, the exact statement is, if f is a real valued function defined on the closed interval AB, which is first of all continuous on AB, so there are no jumps in the graph, and suppose it's a differentiable function on the open interval AB, yeah, again we leave out the values a and b. And suppose that fa equals fb, then there is a c in ab such that yeah, c in the open interval ab, so a c in between a and b, with the property that the derivative at c is zero. So c must be a stationary point of this function. So a proof works as follows. We have three cases. First, we treat the case where f is a constant. Yeah, suppose f is a constant. But then it's easy, right? Because then basically the graph of the function is a horizontal line. So the derivative in any point in between a and b is zero. So that we could also choose the middle of the interval. So pick c in between a and b, which is half times a plus half times b, then we're sure that the derivative in c equals zero. Well, the second case is where there is an x, assume there is an x such that fx is larger than fa. Yeah, so this means that by virtue of the extreme value theorem, we know that there is a maximum, f has an absolute maximum in, in ab, since f is assumed continuous on a closed interval. But this maximum can never be equal to fa or fb, because fa equals fb, and we found an x with a larger function value, so the maximum is not attained in a or b. That's crucial here. But extreme value theorem says that the maximum is attained in some value c, so take a maximum location c, then fc is a maximum for some c. Yeah? So we can find the c such that fc is maximum. And c must belong to the open interval ab. But we know that f is differentiable on ab. So f prime c exists, the derivative in c exists. Yeah, so now we apply Fermat's theorem. Fermat says, well, we can have a relative extremum if f is differentiable, but then it should hold that the derivative in that point equals zero. So again, we find a c in the open interval a, b with derivative equals to z equals zero. Well, something similar goes on if we assume that there is an x with fx smaller than f a, then we're looking for the minimum in a, b, uh, which is guaranteed by, again, the extreme value theorem. So f has a minimum in a, b, since f is a continuous function. But now, similarly to the former case, the second case, this minimum is not attained in a or b, since f a equals f b, and we found an x with f x smaller than that value. So there must be a c inside the interval, in the open interval a, b, 
for which F attains the absolute minimum, Fc. Again, for C in the open interval, we know that F prime C or the derivative in C exists. So Fermat's theorem says again that the in extreme location C, F should have a stationary point. So C is a stationary point of F. And this concludes the proof.